Hello and welcome to this little video here on an argument about legalizing marijuana. So this is Professor Morgan. Uh, this is an activity that I do with uh, my classes uh, as I'm teaching them about the idea of how to do an effective argument. So, uh, and one of the one of the more popular topics that students want to talk about is whether marijuana should be legalized or not. So, just real quick, uh, you know, here, here's kind of a definition of what argumentation is. It's basically using clear thinking and logic uh, to convince readers of the soundness of a particular opinion on a controversial issue. Okay, as so, well. Legalizing marijuana is certainly controversial, and people have, you know, definitely have opinions on whether or not it should be legalized, okay? And there are those who are on both sides of the fence, and they're trying to convince the other side, you know, their way is right. And so, you know, a proper, you know, argument would be using clear thinking and logic to convince, right? The soundness of a particular opinion. So I'm going to share with you... Um, a an argument that uh, someone put together that uh, is arguing that marijuana should be legalized and the point of this video is for you as the the viewer or the person to figure out is this a good argument or not um, what's good about it what is uh, something that is uh, not so good about it if there's anything so all right so let's take a look at it all right I'll just go ahead and read through this with you the use of marijuana should be legalized for many reasons. Throughout history, the use of marijuana dates back centuries. In what would become the United States of America, the earliest colonists used marijuana. Many of the founding fathers owned marijuana, including Benjamin Franklin, who was on the $100 bill. When using and owning marijuana became illegal in America, it caused a great burden on many people who depended on it for their livelihood. Making marijuana legal again in America will stimulate the economy in many ways. Overall, the government is being too restrictive on what it allows and does not allow. It should let people decide for themselves if they want to own and use marijuana without making it a crime. All right, so this is the argument that's being presented about making marijuana legalized. So we understand the concept of, okay, this is someone who's trying to convince somebody else that marijuana should be legalized. Now, initial, again, this is just for you. What's your initial reaction? Is this, you know, uh, you know, I mean, think about it. Do you agree or disagree with them? Do you think that if you agree with them, does that impact, you know, your view of this, whether this is a good argument or not. If you disagree with them, do you think that you're actually giving it a fair chance for them to actually make some good points? Okay. You know, so that at that point in time, so this is, you know, again, when I'm teaching this in the class, we'll have a class discussion and we'll kind of go through this. And uh, what happens often, uh, not always, but often is that the students say, well, you know what, in this first paragraph here, it kind of gives some specifics, you know, it talked about how marijuana was legal at one point in time and, you know, some really prominent folks, you know, had it, including Benjamin Franklin. So it kind of gives a little bit of detail. So there's a little bit of credibility here. Now, great, granted, it's not citing any of these sources uh, and stuff like that, but it's, you know, it's, 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 you know, it's, it's kind of stating, hey, look, it's been legal before. Okay. And once it became illegal, it caused a great burden on people who depend on it for their livelihood. Okay. Now, what's missing here is what kind of burden did it create, okay? Um, so it doesn't really have a lot of detail, so it could benefit from more details. But, you know, if you were doing something for a living and all of a sudden it became illegal, uh, yeah, that would definitely impact your livelihood, would it not? Okay, so again, is this sound logic and reasoning? Okay, again, kind of lacking some specifics, okay? Um, then they make the person here is making the claim that Making marijuana legal again will stimulate the economy in many ways, okay? Again, pretty vague. How will it stimulate the economy? Um, is it by taxing, um, you know, the use of marijuana and using those tax dollars for more jobs and any any number of programs? So, again, um, you know, anytime that you, you know, if you if you if there's a demand for something and it's illegal and you make it legal and then you start to... 
uh, regulate it and then you can tax it. Yeah, you could absolutely find ways to stimulate the economy. Okay, but again, it's kind of vague. It doesn't really have a lot of details. Is the logic here pretty good? Well, it's up for you to decide. I'm just letting you kind of think about it. And then this last paragraph here about how the the government is being too restrictive on what it allows and does not allow. Okay, and there there are those who believe that. And, you know, depending on your personal situation and your your beliefs and the, your background you know you may or may not agree with that statement okay the person here is then claiming it should let people decide for themselves if they want to own and use marijuana without making it a crime so basically saying hey look government overreach come on just let people decide for themselves it's marijuana it's nothing you know come on you know now what's again is what's fascinating to me and this is where uh, a lot of students get their mind blown so drum roll here um it's fascinating to me as, as we, we go through this, a vast majority of the classes where I talk about this, and again, I teach at, as I'm recording this, I teach at three different schools. Um, I, I have a full-time job and I work uh, as an adjunct at two different schools. So uh, I am not, you, you cannot figure out which <laughs> which students or or schools that I'm pulling from. I'm pulling from any number of them, okay? Um, but what's interesting is, a lot of the you know the, the 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 consensus of the students is that this is generally a good argument that's just missing some 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 details that would make it stronger and you know when i ask okay well you know is you know and, and again these are students who are generally um again i'm recording this you know right now i'm recording this on august 1st 2023 so these you know this is i've been doing this for a few years so these are students you know for the last several years that are generally, you know, um, in their first few years of college. Um, but some folks that have been, you know, around longer, um, you know, of, of all sorts of different backgrounds and whatever. Um, but yeah, they, they say, yeah, actually, it's not a bad argument. Okay. It's not a bad argument. It's just, it, it needs a little more, you know, clarity. And I said, okay, so really this logic here is, 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 is solid logic and it's good. And they're like, oh yeah, that's really good. Okay. Um, and then I said, okay, well, Let's shake it up a bit. Um, I'm going to show you the same argument, but I'm going to make a slight change, a slight change to it. And then let's see how you feel about the argument. Okay. All right. They say, okay, let's do that. So here, let's take a look. This, this is the fun part. <laughs> okay. The use of slavery should be legalized for many reasons. Throughout history, the use of slaves date back century. In what would become the United States of America, the earliest colonists used slaves. Many of the founding fathers owned slaves, including Benjamin Franklin, who was on the $100 bill. When using and owning slaves became illegal in America, it caused a great burden on many people who depended on it for their livelihood. Making slavery legal again in America will stimulate the economy in many ways. Overall, the government is being too restrictive on what it allows and does not allow. It should let people decide for themselves if they want to own and use slaves without making it a crime. Okay, now, when I show this to the students, all of a sudden, wow, that is a terrible argument. Awful argument. And I'm like, it's the same argument. All I did is replace the word marijuana with slavery or slaves. Okay? The way that it is presented. Now, Listen to me carefully. I'm not comparing marijuana to slavery. I'm showing that the way that this is phrased and the way that this person crafted their argument actually left it open to be torn apart because it could be applied to something else that is bad okay I, I try not to share my opinions openly but i will openly say that slavery is bad alrighty and we're not talking just black slaves um there's you know history of white slaves even in america um and you know slaves throughout the world so the the idea that someone would use this argument makes you kind of stop and think huh so um just you know so what i would say is if you think, you know, that you've created a good argument, try to plot in something else to see uh, something that you don't agree with and see if you've made an argument for that as well. That'll help you figure out if you made a strong argument or not. All right. So there's something to think about. Oh, and by the way, 
there's my little source about the fact that yeah white people were slaves as well just so you didn't think i made that part up all right something to think about